Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the newly released iOS 18 Beta 1. Apple has just rolled out this update and it's packed with a host of exciting features. So make sure to watch the video until the end because I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get the most out of your iPhone with iOS 18. Without further ado, let's dive right in and take a closer look at what makes iOS 18 one of the most significant updates ever for the iPhone. First up, we have a completely revamped control center on iOS 18. This new design offers significantly more customization options as well as the ability to have multiple pages within the control center. It's much more organized and user-friendly compared to iOS 17. You'll find different sections for your controls, such as music, connectivity, and other essential functions. You can now edit the control center in a variety of ways. For example, you can change the size of the controls, rearrange them, or remove them entirely. If you want to add more controls, just tap on the edit button and you'll be able to include options like voice memo or other utilities. You can even make certain controls larger and place them anywhere you want. This level of customization allows you to tailor the control center to your specific needs, making it one of the standout features in iOS 18. The next major feature is the ability to customize the lock screen buttons. Previously, you were limited to just a few options, but now you can configure these buttons to suit your preferences. For instance, you can add a button to toggle dark mode on or off, or a button to quickly access the calculator. To customize these buttons, simply go to the lock screen editor, tap on Customize, and you'll see a range of options. From connectivity shortcuts to display settings, you can add whatever you need directly to your lock screen. This means you have quick access to the most important functions without even having to unlock your phone. This feature is a big step forward in terms of convenience and usability. Apple has also announced a slew of new AI and Siri features coming to iOS 18, though these aren't available in Beta 1 just yet. We can expect these features to roll out in the summer, likely around Beta 3 or 4. These upcoming features include the ability for Siri to control apps more intuitively, allowing you to perform actions within apps via voice commands. Moreover, Siri will be able to help you with more complex tasks like editing photos or providing detailed instructions on how to use certain features on your iPhone. For instance, you can ask Siri how to create a PDF or print a document and it will guide you through the process step by step. Additionally, ChatGPT is now integrated within Siri offering more advanced conversational capabilities. This integration promises to make Siri a much more powerful and useful assistant. One of the most anticipated features in iOS 18 is the ability to lock apps with Face ID, Touch ID or a passcode. This adds an extra layer of security to your sensitive information. To enable this, simply 3D touch on an app, tap on Require Face ID and Authenticate. From then on, the app will require Face ID for access. But that's not all. You can also hide apps completely from your home screen and even your app library. By selecting the option to hide and require Face ID, the app will disappear from view, only accessible through a special hidden folder in the app library that requires Face ID to open. This feature is perfect for those who need extra privacy and security for certain apps. A long-awaited feature is finally here, free placement of app icons. No longer are you restricted to the grid layout that Apple has traditionally enforced. You can now drag and drop your apps and widgets anywhere on your home screen. This provides a much more flexible and personalized home screen layout, similar to what you might find on an Android device. This feature allows you to organize your apps in a way that makes the most sense to you, whether that's grouping them by function frequency of use, or just arranging them in a visually pleasing manner. It's a significant improvement in terms of user experience and customization. Another aesthetic enhancement is the introduction of dark mode for home screen icons. By entering edit mode on the home screen, you can now toggle between light, dark, or automatic modes for your app icons. 
When set to automatic, the icons will adjust based on whether your device is in light or dark mode. This not only makes the icons look sleeker, but also complements the overall system appearance when dark mode is enabled. Third-party apps are expected to update soon to support this feature, making for a more unified and visually appealing home screen. iOS 18 also brings the ability to tint your app icons with any color you like. By going into edit mode and selecting the tint option, you can choose from a wide range of colors and adjust the intensity. This feature is perfect for those who love to customize their devices and want their home screen to match their personal style or current wallpaper. This level of customization is unprecedented on iOS and allows for a truly personalized experience. Whether you want a subtle change or a bold new look, you can now make your home screen icons fit your aesthetic preferences perfectly. If you prefer larger icons on your home screen, iOS 18 has you covered. You can now increase the size of your app icons for better visibility. By tapping on the edit button and selecting the large icon option, your home screen icons will become significantly bigger, making them easier to see and tap. What's great about this feature is that it also removes the labels from the icons, giving your home screen a cleaner, more streamlined look. This is particularly useful for users who have difficulty seeing smaller icons or just prefer a minimalist aesthetic. Another highly requested feature that has finally made its way to iOS 18 is the ability to schedule iMessages. This is perfect for sending reminders, birthday wishes, or any message you don't want to forget to send at a specific time. To use this feature, simply type your message, tap the plus button, and select Send Later. You'll then be able to choose the exact date and time for your message to be sent. This feature adds a great deal of flexibility and convenience to the iMessage app, ensuring you can communicate more effectively and timely. Lastly, Apple has introduced a new stock app dedicated to managing your passwords. This new passwords app consolidates all your saved passwords, Wi-Fi passwords, verification codes, security notifications, and more into one place. It even includes a search function to help you quickly find any password you need. The Passwords app is a comprehensive tool that enhances security and makes it easier to manage your various login credentials. It's a welcome addition for anyone who wants to keep their digital life organized and secure. In summary, iOS 18 Beta 1 introduces a host of new features and improvements that significantly enhance the user experience. From the highly customizable control center and lock screen buttons to the new AI and Siri capabilities, Apple continues to push the envelope in terms of functionality and convenience. The ability to lock and hide apps with Face ID, freely place app icons, and customize icon colors and sizes brings a new level of personalization to iOS. These are just some of the coolest new features that Apple has added to iOS 18. Of course, there are a lot more features that we'll discover in the coming days and weeks, and many more will be added with future beta updates. So, make sure you stay tuned to the channel for more in-depth coverage and tutorials on iOS 18. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and of course, subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next one.